This is not the story of the One. The One encompasses too much, crushing everything and making it the same. No. This is the story of the many, who are blessed with difference and rich in strangeness. This is the story of a family. Hello everyone, this is going to be my first video and my first episode of my playthrough of the Eternal Cylinder demo. We're going to start a game, we're going to start a new game. Once upon a time in the age of the Eternal Cylinder there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful and very, very stubborn. It is with such a Trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. No, edit that out. <laughs> Run, something inside him said. Run! Whee! I'm rolling. The hating. Trolling, trying to catch me riding dirty. So that cylinder is kind of chasing us, but we've gotten a bit of a ways away. Pause. So I kind of know what to do here. So I'm not going to worry about it. Now here's the thing. I have the been wondering... The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Nope. Perhaps it was safe here for a little nope. while. How quickly it learned to use its legs. And its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Mm. Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Oh, that's cool. Thank 
the Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. Glowy forehead. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. But the cylinder would not allow it. Run, the inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Quickly, the Trebom had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. We're just kind of going to ignore the cylinder for right now. voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. This relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? Sparkly.
Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy, but this new friend was not well. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. So I guess I have to go up there. There's the glitter. to just antagonize him like that. There you go.
Mann. Well, we almost ran into death there earlier. But we're both shiny now. I'm gonna stick with Tog Pop right here. Mm. I need to get more horn trees. Yeah, edit out some of this uh, adventuring. Our young friend had found an egg, a trebum egg, with one of his siblings inside. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. some hoppy legs and a toot horn and iridescence mm -hmm. for him. I know there's something in this snowy biome that can release. Just food. Okay. What are you? Water. fluffy instead of sparkly, but... Whoa, that was a big jump. Good. He just got eaten whole.
god, that's a spiky plant. died so we can't progress and he got swallowed whole crap I really hope there's a revive place somewhere here or we can't retrieve his body we need food I mean, health, but... Ooh, a piece of crap that just... Are you a pug? Coming with us. Oh, I can't carry you? Come on. in the water. What does the other dude do? So like give me stinging or something? Oh no! I am storage now. Got the egg. Get out of the water. Wait, can I fit an egg? Why would you spit out the egg? I still have all my mobility, which is odd. Sumi boy. You're our Sumi boy. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, trying to catch me running. Can I miss it or is that out right there? I think that's out right there. Ooh, Ah, oh, there's no fruits there. No fruits on the twits. <gasps> I'm a big dumb, dumb, stupid head. Oh, dang it. 
This door had been built for Trevor. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. Somehow this ancient statue transferred knowledge to the Trevor. Oh, that's adorable. It was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this Trebum made of stone? Inside the cave, the Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We Trebum are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities, abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity. And they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. Edit this out. It was not easy to leave the cave, but the Elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly, they felt the weight of their many tasks. 
to find their Trebum siblings, to restore the powers their people had lost. And it all seemed a little daunting. But even when they are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. Okay, uh, this is a good point to stop the video. So, bye. <laughs>